Hey you guys, I'm back with another video, not on how I did this look, but it's a contour and highlighter video. I did a poll on Instagram and asked you guys if you wanted to see an updated foundation routine or if you guys wanted to see how I contour and highlighted my face. So if you guys want to see how I sculpted out these cheekbones, then let's get into the video. Okay, so I already have my foundation and everything done. I primed my face. I used the Benefit Professional and the Makeup Forever Primer. So the first thing I do when I contour or highlight my face is I go in with, I go in with two concealers. The first one I go in is with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And I put a, a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And then I take this little brush. I had it for a long time, so don't judge if it looks old. And then I just put it under my eyes in like a triangular shape. I know it looks like really bright for some reason right now. It's not really this bright. I think it's just on the camera. And yes, I'm having some breakouts right here. And some there. They just came out of nowhere. But this is what I do. And I go in with this one first because this one is not as bright as the other concealer that I'm going to use. But for some reason, on this camera, it looks bright as hell. I can't do this, just staring at the camera. But I don't know, like this, this concealer kind of has a peach undertone to it. And I like this one, putting it on first because my undertone is red. I have a red undertone. That's why I put this one on first, where it's going with the other one, because the other one has more like a yellow undertone, but I use it because it's brighter, and I like my concealer really bright. All right, the next thing I'm going, go in, I'm going with this little beauty blender sponge. Don't judge me, it's hella old, but it is clean, and I'm gonna blend this out. And you know, most people, when they do their um, contour highlighting, they put the contour on and the highlight and all that stuff. I don't do that. I like to blend my concealer out first before I go in and contour in my face. You always want to look up too so you can get the concealer all underneath your eye. So the next concealer that I'm going to go in with is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Pure Beige. And you're gonna see, this one is like, you see now that I blended it out, it doesn't look bad, but at first when I put it on, it looked bright as hell. But I only go in with a little bit of this one. I, I like to use this one just because I like my under eye. Real bright, but I'm just gonna mainly focus it on those areas. My chin, just a tiny bit. And a tip for you guys who have a small forehead like me, you all you, you know the first time I put the concealer on the first one, I brought it all the way up there. You wanna do that. You don't wanna to contour too much because it's gonna make your forehead look even smaller. I, I really don't contour my forehead, guys. Like if I have like a little excess powder on my brush, I will probably, you know, put it up there. But other than that, I don't contour. I wanna blend this out. The next thing that I do is I take my black opal face powder, put some pan. I mean, in the pan and lay it. I really like this. I only used it two times, but when I mean that oils barely, you know, seep through my makeup, hardly. I freaking love this powder. I don't know why I was using. I mean, I do like the Sasha Buttercup, but. 
doesn't work. Like, no, this really holds my oil down, but I'm gonna set this under my eye real quick because my under eyes crease like crazy, so I always have to do this before I contour my face. do that before and next thing I'm doing I'm actually gonna go in with this palette so I go in with this one as you can see sometimes this one but I only go on this one when I do my no makeup makeup looks because it's not as you know intense as this one but I go in with this one and I go in with my other elf brush it's the contour contouring brush but I go in with it I, and then another thing, I usually don't cream contour because I'm not that good at cream contour, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do it because sometimes I do cream contour, but I can do it for now. So the first thing I do is, I do this, and I do a line from, not kind of right here because I don't want to get the makeup on my hair, but I kind of go like right here. And I just, do a line just like that. You know it looks crazy. But then I just I don't rub it because I don't wanna, you know, disturb the foundation because we didn't set it. So if I try to do this, it's gonna move the foundation under. So I just yeah, just like this. Because you're actually doing padding motions, but honestly, just be patient because you don't want your makeup to look unblended and uneven. And then I go back in with the bottom part of the beauty blend where I have that foundation on it, and I go around and just blend it out some more. And that's my contour. And a lot of people ask me what I use to contour my face and it is this e.l.f. foundation palette and then I also use for the powder contour I use the e.l.f. bronzer palette. And then I'm gonna take I'm gonna just take this lighter shade right now because I'm not really going anywhere. So I'm gonna take this lighter shade. And do you might see y'all used to this. But I put it here. Just like this. And I just tap it the same way I just did the other one. I do I go back in with my black oval powder but this time I take the um, sponge and oh uh, the reason why I didn't take the sponge and dab it under my eyes because with the sponge it packs on a lot more powder than with the brush so usually when I <clears throat> use a sponge to do it it makes me look like my under eyes real cakey so that's why I use the brush for packing under my eye but for this I don't mind it looking cakey and powdery because I'm oily so this is kind of gonna bake it before I wipe everything off You see what I mean? It packs it on way more than the brush. And another thing, I want to thank you guys for the views on my last two videos. I didn't expect that, especially on my slick back hair tutorial video. I think I got like 24,000 views on it and I really didn't expect it so thank you guys so much so that's so I'm gonna leave this to bake just because I get hella oily and the only thing that really works for me is the Becca but now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline 
Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and it's shade 40. And I just hit some of that in the top. This and I go in with my e.l.f. I don't know brushes. I had it for a long time, so the thing is scratched off. The name is scratched off. I go in with that. And I hit off the excess powder. I always do that because I don't want to use too much powder. Even I, I even set over my contour. It doesn't really make a difference. You just set it in. Bring it down. Trin, you guys always want to do this because you know you see some people with their makeup and you can see the line of demarcation from where the foundation stops. You, don't be like that. Always blend down your neck. Even if it's the same, the exact same shade, still blend down your neck. Weird <laughs> oh my god, I look so stupid. I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. Yeah, but I do this, but this just shows me like if it's <laughs> if it's blended. Okay. And circular motions, but when I'm on my face, I don't do circular motions. I pat it, but here I do because I'm trying to blend that. Blend. Then I'm gonna take my, like I said, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. bronzer palette. I wish they had shade names on there, but they don't. But this is the, this is the bronzer palette, deep bronzer. It's the darkest one. I have a light one and dark one. I use the dark one. The light one is damn sure not gonna work for me. But I go in with this one as you see it already hit pan. I wish they, I wish they could sell these like you know in singles because I need to go and buy another palette, but I don't use none of these. So it's good. Yeah. And I'm gonna go in with this brush. You can see I don't really use this side. I always focus on this side. That's why I just find it's more product. But I just, I don't use a lot because this shit. Oh my gosh, I just tap it. I'm sorry if the sun is going in and out. I'm using natural lighting for this video, which I do with all my videos, because I need to get some actual lights. But for now, I mean, like I said, whatever's left on the brush, I'll dab it up there, but I don't actually contour my forehead. My forehead's already small. Then, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush that I set into my wet hand. I'm going to blend everything. I don't wear. that I do is I take my Urban Decay All Nighter spray and I drench my face. But I drench my face. The more, the merrier. With this, I, I like to dab this into my skin. I feel like it settles into the makeup way better. I learned this tip on YouTube, guys. I learned everything from YouTube. And that is the finished look, you guys. No, I'm joking. It's not the finished look. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera, and then I will come back and show you guys the finished look.
So I am back and I'm finished with my makeup and that is basically my contour and highlight routine and I'm not saying that that's how you're supposed to contour and highlight. I just do what works for me and if you guys learn something on it, if you guys learn something and you want to take the tips that I showed you here to do it in your own makeup routine, then by all means go ahead. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and rate. Come, rate, thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up this video, please. And I'll see you guys in my next video.